Hey guys, this is Full Gaming and Sings here, and welcome to tutorial 5 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll be more organized in creating your game. And if you're following my series this far, if you're following, uh, you'll know that today we'll be getting into the good stuff. Uh, we'll be going into our level creation where we'll be creating our level as to where exactly all the good stuff is going to happen so yeah a lot of persons seem to be very anxious to get to this point uh, in creating our game a zombie game so yeah here we are at last so uh, you'll need to check for the link in the description and you'll need to go to the uh, unity asset store all right and you'll need to download the, uh, the terrain assets all right now you just hit this and this will pop up you just uh, hit on launch application and what's gonna happen uh, just ensure that unity is open up or well, even if it's not open up uh, it's gonna be automatically open if you uh, hit launch application or right. uh, what's gonna happen is that uh, the application is gonna that uh, when we launch application is gonna basically launch the asset store in the unity editor it's gonna launch just say I'm not gonna open it up and uh, exactly what's been displayed here will be displayed this will just mark uh, download and just download it and import it into your project as simple and you get this folder here uh, after that you'll need to go to assets and we'll just go to import packages and we'll go and import a character controller and after we're finished we'll do the same thing once more and we'll import go to assets import terrain assets that simple now uh, this is my scene all right that I've created you know it's not that good I just did something pretty quickly you know uh, yeah this is how my scene looks in oh, it's a bit dark uh, that's exactly the idea that we are looking for you know because it's gonna be a zombie game so it's gonna need the scenery needs to be a bit dark you know yeah, good stuff I uh, just added some multiple uh, some details some multiple textures as you can see the ground texture and the texture on the mountains are a bit different added some grass uh, different grass different trees with a sky box and yeah that's pretty much that so I'll just show you guys how you can do that and you can get down to it if you guys uh, actually find this scene very nice and you like it and you would like to use it you can just uh, tell me uh, hit me up on Facebook Twitter or you can hit me in a comment right on YouTube here and I'll just uh, make a link available for you guys so yeah now I'll just disable this and yeah undisable this here as well and yeah each guy should actually have something along the lines like this I'll just go here and I'll put this at none Yeah, your scene should be a bit plain like that, and the ambient light should be a bit like somewhere there. Good stuff. Now, your scene should be empty like this here. Good stuff. Now, we'll just right click after you've imported all of the packages. All right, you should get standard assets. Just ensure you have standard asset folder, and you have two folders within the character controller, sky boxes, and you have the terrain assets. That's simple. All right, and ensure you're on level one, and we'll just get down to business. All we need to do is just right click go down to uh, 3d objects and then we'll hit on terrain good stuff and we'll just need to scale down the terrain because if you notice when we scroll out and we take a very uh, good view at the terrain it's very big all right so we'll need to go to the last icon in your inspector panel and we'll go down on the resolution and we'll set this to 300 all right you guys can set it to whatever you like you can even leave it at 2000 if you want to but I'm just gonna scale it down so just keep that in mind because 2000 to me is a pretty big uh, terrain so I, I, I recommend you scale it down good stuff then you just right click go down to light and you just add a directional light in there I'm just gonna enable mine good stuff now the directional light is not going to be used in our game but we just enable it just so you can see what's going on you can see what you're doing good stuff now we'll hit on terrain and I'll just show you every, all of the brushes pretty quickly you guys can design your level however I'm just going to show you guys how you can go ahead and make your scene alright now this first brush here alright in your inspector now this basically raises slash lowers your terrain by no sort of amount alright so let's say the opacity is around 
the opacity is low and the brush size is high you'll notice that it scales up yes however it's scaling up very slow now if we set the opacity to a hundred and we hold down our left click you notice that it scales up the terrain pretty fast and it goes up uh, pretty big so yeah you can keep that much in mind now you can use these other brushes here as well you know to make your uh, mountains and stuff like that you know good stuff yeah so yeah uh, you can also hit control Z to undo whatever you did and if you really want if you don't want to do that you just want to scale down or take out like a part of what you just did you can just hold down shift and you just left click and as you can see it's been erasing what we've just done so yeah just keep that, those stuff in mind now this other brush here the second brush now the paint height now this basically uh, paints whatever height you set here so let's say we set it at five all right let me just set it at around seven all right so you, let's say we left click now as you notice it, it scales up the terrain it paints a new height and the height is seven that we've set right here all right now let's say the opacity is low will have the same effect as I was telling you guys about it's gonna come up very slowly all right so just keep those stuff in mind so I'm just gonna go to this brush here the third brush now this is the smooth height now as you can see this uh, height that we painted it it has a bit of an edge all right let's say we go to smooth height now and we set the opacity very low to around six and we try to smooth the height as you notice right it's smooth in the height yes however it's taking a very long time so let's say we carry the opacity up around 58 and we paint we smooth the height it's smoothing it smooths out pretty quickly we set the opacity at 100 it smooths out very fast and it starts to decrease the height of the terrain so keep those uh stuff in mind that's the function of that brush uh also you can use these different brush styles as i was telling you to scale up your uh paint your height you know however you want to you know you can just change the brush style and uh, to your liking good stuff now uh, the uh, the texture now you can add multiple textures you just go to uh, this icon default icon paint texture and we'll go to edit our texture and we'll, we'll go and hit on select in this uh, panel here all right and we'll go down you can just select whatever texture you want you know just like that for your mountains you know so let's say we have all right let's just leave it as is all right no here's what I'll do I'll just uh, change this pretty quickly good stuff yeah now we'll just add another texture uh, um, we'll just add this same one here good stuff and now here's what we'll do we'll just uh, make a mountain pretty quickly yeah, like something like that and what you can do you can actually add this texture to your mountains that's simple so yeah as you can see your mountains have a more different texture from your your ground you know good stuff so that yeah you can do that as well now I'll just play around with the uh, with the target strength and show you guys what's that what that's all about all right so I just hit Control Z uh, and undo everything. Good stuff. Now the target strength. Let's say we try to paint the texture here. You notice that it's been painted pretty good. Let's say that the target uh, strength is around somewhere around half. As you notice, this one is more brighter than this one. And let's say it's set the target strength is set very low. As you notice you're not really seeing a sort of effect all right when you hit uh, apply to apply the texture all right now as you can see there is very very low you can hardly see the texture so that's basically the function you know the target strength see, if you guys want to like a fade you know on your mountains to fade into a different texture you can just decrease the target strength and so forth to your liking so you can do all of that so just keep uh, those stuff in mind 
yeah so this brush here basically deals with adding trees all right so we can just go to edit here edit trees add trees and we'll just select this icon right here all right and we'll just go and we'll add trees you guys can add how many trees you want it doesn't really matter all right you can just uh select that one and just hit apply and yeah the trees in your game you can go and add more trees if you want to you know yeah it's it's that simple it's not really anything uh complex so you can just hit uh you can put the uh brush size at 100 and you can just add a lot of trees at once or you can just add your trees one by one that's pretty much what i did you know for my scene you know so yeah at least you'll know how to actually uh position your trees you know so when you're able when you want to actually like let's say we want to add a whole uh, abandoned house or something at least you'll have an actual area to do so so let's say we want to add an abandoned house where all of these trees are situated it's very simple we can just increase the brush size hold down shift and we can just remove those trees yeah you can you can do that as well yeah and you just go select another tree and yeah trees are in your game different types of trees you can play around with the other settings here like the tree height and so forth the tree height is set to uh it's set very high and you just set that at one as you notice this is the more in terms of the height this tree surpasses all of them so you can keep those stuff in mind yeah so that's pretty much that now we can go to the uh grass texture now this icon is the second to last icon right after the uh, tree icon we'll go to edit detail add grass texture and we'll just hit an icon once again and we'll go down you can add these any of these grass here that we have here now you notice it's pretty different from our previous series that's basically because we uh, have some uh, the terrain assets that we downloaded comes with all of this yeah so we can just take that and just hit apply and as you notice you now again in our scene view where us is in our game you can also uh, set the target string the opacity up high and it sets a lot of trees in your game at once when the opacity is high but once the opacity is low you'll notice that uh, it doesn't really you, no tree uh grass aren't really being added to again that's because the opacity is at zero so as you can see there the grass is being added to our game the target strength is very high we carry that down and you'll notice trees uh, the uh, sorry the grass are being added pretty good to our game yeah that's pretty much that uh and this last icon basically deals with a uh, the terrain settings for the terrain all right so you guys don't really need to get into this though all right so that's some good stuff you can just go down to your render settings after you finish fancying up your scene you go to uh, edit go to render settings and we'll go to sky boxes sky materials and we'll just type sky here and all the sky boxes will be displayed you can just select whichever one you want i'm just going to select this one all right because it's going to be a zombie like game and we want it to be night obviously and we'll just go and we'll carry the ambient light a bit down now if you leave it as it is and you just disable the directional light you'll notice that the scene is still a bit bright so all you need to do it's very simple go to edit render settings and just carry your ambient light down as you notice our entire scene went pitch black good stuff but we don't want it like that we want it a little bit bright you know so we can actually see a little bit of what we're doing all right so that's some good stuff and yeah that's pretty much that so i'll just disable this one just enable this one and the last thing that you need to do is just go to your uh standard assets folder go to character controller and we'll take the first press controller we'll just drag it into our game now you notice that uh if you press f to focus in on it our uh, first press controller is within the terrain and all we need to do is just drag it above because if it's in the terrain it's going to fall through and it's the, the first press controller is going to basically be falling into oblivion not exactly what we want so yeah that's pretty much that so if we hit play now we'll see our game in effect and everything works out 
just fine now I use uh, some different grass and so forth more than one grass you know these are the grass which are in which I showed you guys add into your game and those are some other grass you know yeah so it looks a bit spooky all right so yeah that's pretty much that so yeah hope you like this uh, tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial we'll be uh, adding some lights in there like a flashlight you know so you can walk around and just you know have a little feel of your surroundings and we'll be added um, some game objects in our game you know so uh, it'll look a little more spooky a little more game like you know so yeah that's pretty much that which we'll be focusing on in the next tutorial so once again guys hope you like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys and i'll see you peace